On today's episode of the Fresh Brew Run Vlog, I'm running during the eclipse. This is way weirder than I thought it was gonna be. I'm pumped up today. It's time to do the Michigan. Let's go, last quarter mile, let's do this. If you dropped your fly swatter, I found it. There it is. Good afternoon. Welcome to episode 68 of the Fresh Brew Run Vlog. My name is Aaron and it is a great day for a run. So first of all, it is beautiful. 60 degrees outside. I looked at the 10 day forecast folks and it does not drop below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is awesome. Finally. Second, as I pointed out in the uh, first shot of this vlog, I got new shoes on, the more V4s. A new pair of more V4s, breaking them out today. So what is the special occasion that I would break out new shoes for, you might ask? Well, first of all, thank you for asking. Second of all, today is the first time and potentially the last time that I will ever run during an eclipse. So we have a classic situation where the path of the moon intercepts the sun and blocks it for a short period of time. So I live in the Detroit area. We have a 98.5% eclipse today. So that's what I'm doing. I'm running during the eclipse. Oh, yikes. And trying not to get hit by a smart bus. So I'm on my way to downtown Royal Oak, I'm trying to time this run so I get to the park uh, while the, the main part of the eclipse is occurring. Let's see if I can get a shot. I actually don't know where the sun is. It's probably bad for the GoPro. We'll see how it handles eclipses. So it's kind of hazy right now, so I can't tell if it's just the haze or the light is really weird right now. I think the light is weird. I think that's the eclipse, plus the haze maybe. Now, I was not able to secure the like eclipse glasses. They're sold out everywhere. I thought the library was gonna have them, but they're all out. So I'm gonna try not to look directly in the sun. I just wanna be like outside. And I just really wanna say that I ran during an eclipse because how often do you get to say that? So I don't know, hopefully there'll be some, I don't know, glasses like blowing on the street somewhere that I can pick up. All right, about 15 minutes to the eclipse. To be honest, the weird light might have been the haze because it's sunny out and now it's brighter. So I don't know what's going on. I think all of OCC is out right now. I think I'm getting it. Hard to tell. I think everybody has the glasses. That's what happens when you get sick and you don't leave the house for a week. <laughs> you don't get eclipse glasses. Everybody's out. The park is packed. Check that out. That's cool. There's like this like nervous anticipation <laughs> for something. The light is so weird. It's so weird. Like the shadows are so sharp. Oh, this is weird. I don't know if you can pick it up on the GoPro. Man. Like the buses have their headlights on. Cars have their headlights on. Look at that. This is way weirder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Look at the shadows of the trees. Very weird. I keep saying weird. Oh, the city hall lights just came on. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pick it up. On the GoPro, that was with sunglasses. All right, it's starting to get brighter out. I'm going to uh, to run home. This is a very strange experience. Anyway, back at it. The sun is pretty much coming back at this point. So that was cool. Weird, but very cool. I ran during an eclipse. Something that's fun to say that you did. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap this run up. Good stuff, six miles. I've picked up the pace considerably in the second half of the run. Feeling good. Thank you for coming along on this celestial journey with me. 
an eclipse. Who knew? What, what tremendous fun you can have during an eclipse. So I'll actually see you in a couple seconds. I got something in the mail today that I'm gonna open up. Very fun, very exciting. So uh, yeah, see you then. All right, I am back some time later with what I got in the mail and that is a new pair of shoes, obviously from New Balance. So I've been looking for a trail shoe. I've been running in the Nike Pegasus Trail 3 for like three years now. So I think it's time, time to do a little bit of an upgrade. So I got the New Balance I gotta get this right, I have to read the exact title. They're the Fresh Foam More Trail V3. So obviously, looking at these, these are the More V4 Trail equivalent. A little bit confusing, they're one number behind. So this is, it's a More V4, but they've only made three versions of the More Trails. So technically, it's the More Trail V3. Extremely confusing. Nevertheless, obviously, you can tell these are these are the trail equivalent of the, the more V4s that I've been running in for like a year now. I think almost exactly a year. I will do a review, probably a shorter review, the next time I run on a trail, which could be this weekend, could be the weekend after that. I'm not totally sure yet, but at some point, I will run in these on an actual real trail. Um, I'm not gonna take these out on the sidewalks of Royal Oak. Yeah, very excited about these. Uh, just at first glance, they got that New Balance dad shoe vibe going on so that's very cool so excited to try these out that will be it for today tomorrow is an off day so i will see you on wednesday for potentially a speed workout no matter what i end up doing i'll see you wednesday good afternoon happy wednesday it is a great day for a run i'm pumped up today we got a big one i'm finally doing it I'm finally doing the big speed workout that I talked about in last week's vlog. It's time to do the Michigan. So I first read about this workout in a book almost 20 years ago. The book is called Sub Four. It's one of my favorite books of all time. It's by Chris Lear and it follows Alan Webb in his freshman year at the University of Michigan and his quest to become one of the greatest milers in American history. So in the book, his coach came up with this workout which has since been dubbed the Michigan, which is designed to really put you through the paces for the 10K or the 8K. Nice. Guy's cooking. Once I get to the square track, I'll explain it. I have a cheat sheet. Okay, we've encountered a problem at the rectangle track. There's like a little kid's soccer camp, which there's kids all over the track. Half the workout is supposed to take place on the track, but I don't think I'm gonna run on the track today. It doesn't sound like a smart idea. So I guess I'm just gonna do it all on the road, which is kind of annoying to me, but got to adjust, I guess. So here goes nothing. Okay, so anyway, I'm just gonna do this over here away from people. I have my little <laughs> cheat sheet. So here's the workout. So do a warm up, which I've done. Then it's a mile on the track at race pace, which I'm gonna do it on the road. Uh, three minute recovery, a mile on the road at tempo pace, which tempo pace in this case is just a little bit slower than race pace. Then a three minute recovery, then a 1200 meter on the track at race pace, three minute recovery, one mile on the road at race pace, three minute recovery, 800 meters on the track, um, a little faster than race pace, three minute recovery, one mile on the road at tempo pace, three minute recovery, and then a 400 meters all out sprint, and then a cool down. So that is the gist of this workout. It is not easy. I'm not in the best shape. It's probably going to destroy me, but I'm going to attempt it anyway, because I gotta get in shape as fast as I possibly can. So that is the workout. That's what I'm gonna do. This has never happened at the track. Usually it's pretty empty, just a bunch of runners, but I don't know, maybe it's just because it's the school year. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, got to adjust, got to make do. So we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll get this going. All right, here we go. First mile. Let's get it. This really stinks. I went way too fast, and there's so much traffic, like rush hour. Ah, oh, this is terrible. I don't even know where I'm going, honestly. Oh man, this is terrible. You know what? It's a public park. I, I should be able to run in a public park. I'm gonna do it. One mile down. That was a little too fast, I think. Just getting used to the pace. But that was good. Whew. All right, next up we have a mile on the road. Uh, just a little slower. Nice. Also, the water fountains in the city are not on yet, which is a killer. That's, that's tough. All right, recovery done. One mile, let's go. 
bit of a headwind heading out. That's good though. Be fast on the way back. And back. Feeling good. Whew. Mile down. Let's go. That was good. That felt good. All right, next up, three minute recovery and then back on the track for a 1200. We'll see if anybody yells at me. I'm gonna try to avoid soccer balls as much as I can, but this might be a challenge. All right, here we go. 1200 meters, 635 pace. Let's go. Here's the only part I can really film. Ah, 1200 done. That was good. Although there were kids taunting me. <laughs> They're like trying to block the track until the last second. It is ironic, the kid taunting me was wearing a Michigan State t-shirt while I'm running the Michigan. Uh, fitting, honestly. I don't hate it. All right, next up, one mile at race pace. So this is gonna be a tougher one. It's supposed to be on the road, so I'm on track. Well, off track. All right, here we go. Almost got hit by a van there. Oh well. Go blue. I'm struggling. Struggling to maintain my pace. Whew. Okay. Mile down. Huh. All right, next up, 800 meters on the track. Uh, real fast pace, faster than race pace. I don't think I'm gonna make it back to the track though. I'm struggling. It turns out the Michigan is actually hard. <laughs> actually gonna take a shortcut. This will be good, this will work, perfect. All right, we're back on the track. I'm not gonna be able to film when I start it because the soccer camp, but that's okay. Oh, maybe I will. Okay, 800, real fast. Let's do this. Two, one, let's go. 800 down. All right, now we got a mile on the road at tempo pace. So a little bit slower. I need it. Whew. Two, one, let's go. One mile, tempo pace. Turn around. Oh, I'm kind of cooked. Ooh, let's go. Strong finish. Okay, mile done. Oh, I'm struggling. I'm in a world of hurt right now. Ooh, I'm cooked. It's a nice downhill out, but uphill back. Crushing me. Oh. All right, last segment. 400 as fast as I can go. So time to leave it all on the track. Let's go, last quarter mile, let's do this. Done. Oh, I did it. Oh, all right, that was good. Whew. Strong, strong last 400. Um, that mile I did was tough. I'll have to look at my splits when I get home, but that's a hard workout. Whew. I'm glad I did it though. It was fun. Like track to road is kind of a kind of a cool little twist. So that was a lot of fun. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna sleep well tonight or really bad, depending on how my legs feel. But I'll take my selfie and do my cool down, and get out of here. All right, cool down. Let's go. Oh, I'm so tired. So overall, the Michigan is hard. <laughs> the paces that the guys were running that workout in the sub four book were mind blowing. Like I can't even comprehend some of those, some of those splits they were turning out. Whew, I'm out of breath just doing my cool down. So I'm gonna wrap this run up. Good workout. Whew. Tomorrow, I think I'm gonna run. It'll definitely be slow. If not, I will see you Friday, but whatever. See you in a couple seconds. Good morning, happy Friday. It is a great day for a run. A bit rainy, but uh, nevertheless warm. So good to get out here. I think I'm gonna try to do eight today. So feeling good. Actually, I'm sore. I'm sore from that speed workout. Now, a couple episodes ago, I mentioned road closures, and this is what they're doing. I think this is gas lines. So they cut up a lot of the sidewalk and then did whatever work they were doing and then put down this like gravel and dirt and sometimes sand, and it makes me nervous. A couple years ago, before I was doing the vlog in this very neighborhood, they did similar construction work, and I think I twisted my ankle two or three times on this stuff. It's really bad and they left it out for like 
months. It was very annoying. I was tweeting at Consumers Energy, <laughs> trying to get someone to fix it. Gotta be careful, because it's like, it's not just gravel, it's very loose gravel. And especially in this rain, it can be kind of dangerous. Like, great example here. Like, you could easily blow an ankle on that right there. Dangerous. Ah. Anyway, like I said, I'm feeling sore from that Michigan workout the other day. That was honestly one of the harder speed workouts I've ever done. It's a good thing. I'm gonna keep doing that workout until my uh, until my 10K. So anyway, back to the run. The rain has stopped, which is nice. Brutal wind. Like, look at this hack job. You can go right under there. Oh, it's, it's sinking. My foot is sinking. All right, I'm gonna wrap this run up. Good run. A little sore, a little windy, a little rainy, but good to get out here uh, tomorrow, Saturday. I think I'm gonna try to do a longer run, so that'll be fun. Hopefully the weather will be nicer. But uh, yeah, that'll be it today. I'll see, uh, see you in a couple seconds. Good morning, happy Saturday. It is a great day for a run out here. I think I'm gonna do like 12 to 13 miles, depending on what porta potty I find will determine how far I go. But um, yeah, long run, real long run, longest run I've done in quite some time. It's a real Michigan spring day where right now I think it's low 40s. By the time I'm towards the end of my run, it should be in the 50s. So I brought my pack with me today so I can put my uh, my windbreaker into the pack once I once I warm up a little bit. It's also very windy, so I wanted to have something something to block the wind a little bit. Something to break the wind, if you will. Four miles down, chocolate outrage time. Check out this sticker, prioritizing cars over people, bag buttons. I promise you I did not put that sticker on this pole, but <laughs> I love it. All right, moving on. All right, great news, Porta Potty is in this park. I don't know what park this is. Doesn't matter, Porta Potty is up. All right, back on track. I don't know what park this is. But it's good to know they have a water fountain. It's not on yet, but it's good to keep in mind. Ooh, headwind for real. A windy downtown Clawson. Oh, Sabbath coffee. Good coffee. Eight miles down. Goo number two. Feel good. It's warming up. I might take my jacket off soon. So that's very good news. If you dropped your fly swatter at uh 12 in Rochester, I found it. There it is. All right, it's getting a little bright out. Sunglasses time. I'm gonna keep the jacket. The wind is still is still blowing and I'm extremely sweaty. So the second I take this jacket off, it's just gonna be cold wind on my wet clothing. So I'll keep the jacket and be a little warm, which is better than being wet. So anyway, so far so good. Feel good, it's nice to do a a real long run in the sunshine. So, back at it, let's go. Train! Oh, it's windy! Woo! Oh, it's leaving. I think I can catch it. Oh yeah! That was good timing. <laughs> oh man. Nice. 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 Come on, give me a reading, give me a reading. Come on, nothing. Oh. <laughs> ah. That has worked before. I've gotten it to get a miles per hour before, but I don't know, maybe it was the sun. Something with the sun made it less sensitive. I don't know. 22, beat that. All right, I'm gonna wrap this run up. Great run. I'm on the uh, non-sidewalk side of the road here because the golf course, for whatever reason, doesn't have to have a sidewalk. But anyway, uh, good run. I think, I actually don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I may run, I may do something else. So I may see you then. If not, that'll be the episode for today. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon.